Cooking in Real Life by Lighty Hewick is one of the most useful cookbooks I've read in several years. It's a cookbook meant for everyone. Delicious recipes built on ingredients you can probably get at your local supermarket or farmer's market. I'm a big fan of cookbooks, both for inclusion in my high school library and at my home on a small farm. Nothing brings people together quite like great food, and being able to easily cook good food should, in my opinion, be a fundamental human right. That's also why I include cookbooks in my library book talks with high schoolers. Hewick came to cooking in a roundabout way, but one most foodies would envy. She got a job right out of college as a social media assistant for Ina Garten, the barefoot contessa, uh, who also wrote the foreword, foreword to this cookbook. After seven years of working with Garten, including shopping for ingredients and testing recipes side by side with the barefoot contessa, Hewick offers her first cookbook, Cooking in real life. The recipes are accessible. Nearly all ingredients are probably already in your pantry at home or easily purchased. Of course, I had to test this, so I had an advanced copy of the book with me on an iPad uh, when I went to the grocery store here in the Midwest. There were only two ingredients I couldn't source on my first stop looking at random recipes. One of them was Little Neck Clams. I'm in the Midwest, and Harbison, which is a Vermont cheese. Neither of those are Midwestern staples, but all the other ingredients were very easy to find. Recipes are listed in the progression you would expect. Appetizers through desserts with an end section, dressings and sauces. One highlight is vegetable main dishes in addition to recipes for meat and fish. Hewick includes recipes for breakfast options as well, and if you're really strapped for time to meal plan, she offers a variety of weeknight menus using recipes from the book. Notes in many of the recipes include tips, swaps, and ways to prep recipes in advance to save time. I have already, of course, cooked a couple of the recipes and they were delicious. The salmon with honey chili crunch was incredibly easy and a real treat. Plus, I used that sauce on chicken for a non-fish eater, and they absolutely loved it as well. The hummingbird pancakes with caramelized pineapple and pecans were a simple and delicious weekend treat. I've got a long list of other recipes I'm anxious to try, and the recipes easily fulfill the promise of the cookbook's title, Cooking in Real Life.